Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bald Man Building an Airplane. This is RV14 Ailerons, video number 11. <coughs> In today's video, we will be completing the bottom skin attach and also um, attaching the... <coughs> excuse me, still can't get rid of this cough. Um, we'll be doing the pop riveting of uh, the end ribs together and maybe doing some trailing edge work. I, I, I don't think so though. I think we might just be, at the most, it'll be um, using some 3M VHB tape to stick it together. So We're continuing on us using the set it on the table and lean on the bucking bar method to set these rivets. <clears throat> and verify there's no twist as we go along. Um, as much as I complained about this, the aileron build, um, so far, and I still do, and I still will continue to when we move on to the right aileron. Um, <clears throat> working on those um, those nose skins was such a pain in the butt. You know, I don't know why I set it up like this. First thing I do, I set it up like this and then I mess up a rivet. I have to pull it back out. It's ridiculous. I should have just kept it on the table. But you can see close up here um, on the right side that those <coughs> bottom, air quotes, um, holes are not riveted. And that's because, um, and by bottom I mean the ones that are on the left side of the set. So then you can't see them anymore. <coughs> there, they're back. Um, because those are what are going to get pop rivets here shortly. And then... I I should have done this on the other one because I didn't, but... Uh, yeah, the, the last rivet on either side is really, really difficult to get to. And you kind of, you can use the back rivet set to get at it with the gun. Okay, so I'm putting the trailing edge in. Interesting, why am I putting the trailing edge in? I didn't glue it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Doesn't make sense now, why would I? Oh, I think it's just to clamp it together while I do the pop riveting. Yeah, 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 just to verify, just to make sure that it's all nice and in the position that it wants to be when it's fully done. <clears throat> so then you just, uh, I believe these are CS4-4 rivets that we're going to put in here. I must be going down to the workshop in the basement to grab the right rivets. Yep, there we go. So they're flush pop rivets on the end. Um, and they're dash four size for you know an eighth inch hole or a number thirty hole. <coughs> so uh, they're not like the three nineteen BS that we would use in a number forty hole. Also, I don't think CS four dash fours are structural, whereas the MK three nineteen BS are. I'm not positive on that, but. Uh, Yeah, I don't think they need to be structural in this uh, in this uh, if application because the trailing edge is going to be held together with solid rivets. So these are just additional sort of hold it in place, line everything up rivets. Anyway, <coughs> next up is the uh, counterbalance to the nose skin riveting with the LP4-3s. And uh, we're going to start on that here and probably finish it in the next video because it looks like this one's ending. So thanks for stopping by and uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one.